Have you ever felt overwhelmed by the relentless challenges life throws at you? Questioning how to remain unshaken when everything around you seems on the verge of collapse? Welcome to Stoic in Your Life, where today we delve deep into the potent Stoic principles taught by Epictetus, a colossus in the realm of Stoic thought. Epictetus taught us that our suffering stems from veiling what's beyond our control, introducing us to principles not just for coping, but for thriving in the face of adversity. In this video, we uncover the seven core Stoic principles that promise to shield you from life's upheavals, transforming every hurdle into a cornerstone of personal growth. Join us on this transformative journey where every challenge is an opportunity, and peace of mind is not a distant goal but a continuous journey. Number one, don't worry. First and foremost, the Stoic path teaches us the critical skill of discernment, recognizing what is within our control and what lies beyond it. This discernment is the gateway to true freedom, as it liberates us from the shackles of futile worry. How many times have you found your peace disrupted by concerns over events you could not influence? The answer, for many, is far too often. Stoicism doesn't suggest a withdrawal from the responsibilities of life, but rather proposes a radical shift in focus. From external circumstances to internal strength, it's about learning to greet life's unpredictabilities, not with anxiety, but with calm preparedness. To cultivate this stoic mindset, consider the approach of changing not the world around you, but your reaction to it. This doesn't mean adopting a passive attitude. Far from it. It involves an active engagement with our perceptions, challenging ourselves to respond with emotional intelligence and resilience. When confronted with the inevitable challenges of life, whether in personal relationships, career pressures, or the global issues of our times, the question becomes, how will you choose to respond to maintain tranquility and strength within? Epictetus's wisdom illuminates the profound impact our perceptions can have on our emotional well-being. By mastering our viewpoints, we minimize unnecessary anxieties and open ourselves up to greater satisfaction and a deeper sense of meaning in our lives. Imagine living each day with a heart untroubled by external chaos, a mind serene amid the storm. This is the power of Stoicism, transforming every obstacle into an opportunity for personal growth and inner peace. Engaging with these principles in the hustle of modern life can be immensely rewarding. As you navigate the complexities of your world, from the boardroom to the dining room, remember the words of Marcus Aurelius. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. Each situation, no matter how challenging, becomes a moment to practice stoicism, to turn philosophy into action. This stoic journey, enriched with ancient wisdom yet utterly applicable to the modern hustle, is more than philosophical contemplation. It's a practical guide for living well. It's about embracing life's entirety with a poised heart and a resilient spirit. To continue your journey, I would like to suggest a specific and highly effective practice step. Consider this. For the next week, carve out 10 to 15 minutes each day for a purposeful pause. A time dedicated solely to self-reflection through journaling. Start by candidly documenting each thought, feeling, and worry you encounter throughout your day. It's crucial to explore each emotion thoroughly, no matter how trivial they may seem at first glance. As you record these thoughts, categorize them into two distinct groups, those within your control and those beyond it. This exercise isn't just about recognizing your feelings, but actively engaging with them in a constructive manner. By the end of this week, take a moment to review your notes. Reflect on how your view and handling of anxieties have shifted. You might find that concerns which once seemed insurmountable now seem more manageable, or you might uncover new insights into how you respond to life's uncertainties. Imagine you're running late for an important meeting and the traffic is at a standstill. The frustration builds up, your heart rate quickens, and your mind starts racing with the repercussions of being late. In this moment, Stoicism teaches us to discern between our reaction, which we control, and the traffic, which we cannot control. Applying this in real time, you focus on calming your reactions, using the time to prepare mentally for the meeting ahead, or perhaps to enjoy some music. 
transforming a stress-filled wait into a moment of relaxation. Now, reflect on this. How often do we let circumstances beyond our control dictate our happiness and peace of mind? Can you see how applying a simple stoic practice could significantly alter your response to everyday challenges? This exercise underscores a powerful lesson from Epictetus. While we can't control every aspect of life, we can master our responses. The true power lies not in avoiding challenges, but in facing them with a composed and resilient spirit. I challenge you now. Commit to a week of journaling about your worries. Are you ready to embrace this practice and see how it can change your life? Declare your commitment in the comments with an I accept the challenge and join others in transforming how we respond to life's inevitable challenges. By doing so, you are taking a significant step towards living a life that is not only peaceful, but also deeply meaningful. Number 2. Insults or Offenses Welcome to a journey into the core of Stoic Resilience where we explore how to remain unshaken by the storms of insults and offenses. Imagine someone criticizes you sharply. Maybe it's during an important meeting or a casual conversation. The instinctive reaction might be to respond with anger or defense, but let's pause together and see this through the lens of Stoicism. Epictetus, one of the most influential Stoic philosophers, teaches us a vital lesson. It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This simple yet profound advice reveals the true essence of power in self-control. In a world that often seems to spin out of control, mastering the art of responding rather than reacting can transform our lives. So, how do we put this into practice? When faced with harsh criticism or outright insults, instead of letting these external events disturb our peace, we reflect on their true impact. Ask yourself, does this change my inner value? Often, you will find the answer is no. This realization can free you from the gripe of hurt and open up a space for growth. Could there be a grain of truth in the criticism? Is there something valuable I can learn from this situation? This approach doesn't just apply to major conflicts, it's equally valuable in everyday interactions. Each time we choose to respond with calm and consideration, we strengthen our ability to maintain serenity in the face of life's challenges. Now, let's reflect together. How can you apply this principle today? Can you recall a recent situation where a different response might have led to a better outcome? This is not just about avoiding pain. It's about embracing the opportunity to grow stronger and wiser through each challenge. By continually asking ourselves these questions, we don't just learn about stoicism. We live it. Each moment becomes a chance to practice being the calm within the storm fostering a life of tranquility and resilience. Isn't that a power worth cultivating? As we move forward in this discussion, remember another gem from Epictetus. Freedom is the only worthy goal in life. It is won by disregarding things that lie beyond our control. Let us strive to be masters of our own reactions, embracing freedom from the turmoil of external judgments and insults. How will you practice this freedom today? In a world often shaken by turbulence, the Stoic principles laid down by Epictetus offer a beacon of strength and inner tranquility. One of the foundational teachings of Stoicism is the cultivation of inner freedom, a profound liberation from the chains of negative influences and external judgments. This principle is not merely about enduring adversity, but transforming it into a tool for personal empowerment. It teaches us that our value is inherent not determined by others' opinions or fleeting emotions. This is a daily practice, a consistent effort to accept that, while we cannot control the actions or words of those around us, we can master our reactions, turning potential insults into opportunities for enhancement of our inner strength. Epictetus's wisdom shines brightly when he advises, if you decide to do something, don't shrink from being seen doing it even if the majority of people disapprove. If you're wrong to do it, then you should shrink from doing it altogether. But if you're right, why worry about how people will judge you? This encapsulitis, the essence of stoic courage, 
acting according to one's moral compass, irrespective of external critiques, thus building a robust foundation for true freedom and happiness. In our modern lives, this philosophy is exceedingly relevant. Every day we face decisions that stir internal turmoil and have the potential to impact others. In these moments, Stoicism teaches us to listen closely to the voice of reason in the heart, to make choices that align with our deepest values and convictions. By consistently applying this principle, we not only learn to handle criticism and adversity more effectively, but also pave the way for genuine personal growth and development. As we navigate the relentless flow of life encountering numerous crossroads, the Stoic approach provides clarity and direction. It encourages us to shape each decision with the best judgment drawn from a place of reasoned calm and integrity. How do we apply this age-old wisdom in the hustle of our daily routines? By living each moment aligned with our principles, making decisions that resonate with our core, and transforming every challenge into a stepping stone towards greater resilience and a more profound sense of purpose. In the words of Marcus Aurelius, another pillar of Stoic thought, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. These words echo through the ages, urging us to remember that the true battleground is within. Each day presents a fresh opportunity to fortify our minds, to choose reason over impulse, and to act not out of fear or desire for approval, but from a place of stoic wisdom and inner strength. This is how we turn the philosophical into the practical, living our lives not just in reaction to the world around us, but in accordance with the timeless virtues of wisdom, courage, and moderation. This comprehensive understanding and application of Stoic principles not only enriches our own lives, but also empowers us to lead by example, influencing those around us through actions grounded in philosophical integrity and serene confidence. Number three, act according to your best judgment. In our journey through the profound and empowering principles of Stoicism, let's delve into the transformative concept of acting according to your best judgment, a principle poignantly illustrated by Marcus Aurelius, the philosopher emperor of Rome. In his reflective writings, The Meditations, Marcus Aurelius exhorts us with the words, just that you do the right thing, the rest doesn't matter. These words are not just a testament to his resolve during times of war and political upheaval, but also an enduring guidance for personal conduct, whether it be in nurturing his children, governing his empire, or embarking on a path of self-improvement. But what does it mean for us today to act according to our best judgment? It begins with a steadfast commitment to self-awareness and rigorous self-reflection. This process demands that we continuously examine our values, intentions, and the very course of our lives. Consider, for instance, the pivotal moment when you stand at a career crossroads. Picture yourself in a job where comfort and ease are assured, yet you find yourself grappling with a lack of fulfillment and stunted personal growth. The decision to step out of your comfort zone and pursue a path that aligns more closely with your aspirations and core values is a profound demonstration of stoic judgment. It's not merely a logical decision but a courageous one, reflecting deep respect for oneself and acknowledging one's potential to grow and flourish. How often do we find ourselves at such crossroads where the easier path tempts us with its familiarity and safety? And yet, is it not in these moments that the true test of our character and our commitment to stoic principles emerge? By asking ourselves, does this decision mirror my deepest values? Am I motivated by fear or driven by love and passion for what I could become? We can navigate through life's myriad challenges with clarity and purpose. Now let me ask you, how will you apply this stoic principle in your life today? Will you step back when faced with difficult decisions or will you move forward, guided by your best judgment and fortified by the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius? In embracing this principle, we find not only guidance for complex decisions, but also a greater sense of peace and fulfillment in our daily lives. This is the true power of Stoic philosophy. It does not remove us from the challenges of the world, but instead equips us to meet them with courage, dignity, and wisdom. 
Have you ever wondered how some people remain undisturbed in the face of adversity, maintaining a serene and unflappable demeanor no matter what life throws at them? This remarkable ability, rooted deeply in the Stoic philosophy, stems from a profound understanding of control, knowing what is within our grasp and surrendering what is beyond our reach. How do you react in challenging situations? Are you focusing on elements you can control, or are you consumed by those you cannot? Stoicism, a robust philosophical tradition, invites us to apply reason to every decision, urging us to distinguish between what we can influence and what we must accept. Reflect on your current challenges and ask yourself, what aspects of the situation are within my control? How can my response reflect my core values and principles? Epictetus, a venerable Stoic philosopher, encapsulates this idea profoundly. We are disturbed not by events but by the views which we take of them. This statement challenges us to rethink how we interpret the trials we encounter. Our perception can either empower us or weaken us. It's not the obstacles themselves but our attitude towards them that dictates our emotional response. Can you think of a moment when a shift in perspective changed your emotional experience? This principle does not merely guide personal growth. It's a call to contribute positively to the community and the world at large. By aligning our actions with reason and our deeply held values, we foster personal improvement and actively participate in the betterment of society. What small steps can you take today to live in harmony with your ideals? Each decision you make, however insignificant it may seem, contributes to a larger narrative of resilience, virtue, and collective well-being. Remember, deep within each of us burns the quiet flame of stoicism. It's fueled by our determination and courage to face life's tempests with a calm heart and a clear mind. As Marcus Aurelius, another great stoic, once advised, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. How will you ignite this stoic flame within yourself today to forge a path of true resilience and profound peace? Number 4. No one can hurt you. In our ever-turbulent world, each day brings its own set of challenges, from the sting of criticism to the assault of outright insults. In these moments, the ancient wisdom of Stoicism emerges as a beacon of strength, teaching us a vital lesson. True harm is contingent not on external events, but on our perception of them. This principle isn't just a piece of advice. It's a foundational way of life that can help us maintain inner peace regardless of external circumstances. Epictetus, a pivotal figure in Stoic philosophy, powerfully articulated this concept. Another person will not hurt you without your cooperation. You are hurt the moment you believe yourself to be. This profound statement is not merely a philosophical musing, but a direct challenge to our everyday reactions to adversity. It prompts us to reconsider our response to negativity, urging us to convert potential vulnerabilities into undeniable strengths. Take the inspiring example of Nelson Mandela, who spent 27 arduous years in prison under harsh conditions. Rather than succumbing to despair or bitterness, Mandela channeled his experiences into cultivating a deep reservoir of tolerance and understanding. Upon his release, he led South Africa through a peaceful end to apartheid. His ability to maintain his composure and vision exemplifies the stoic belief that our internal state dictates our life's narrative, not our external conditions. To truly embody this principle, we must start with developing self-awareness. It's essential to periodically pause and introspect. Why do the words or actions of others affect me? This practice requires continuous, objective self-observation. It's about recognizing that feelings of hurt arise from our chosen reactions to situations rather than the situations themselves. Marcus Aurelius, another Stoic philosopher and a Roman emperor, reinforces this approach in his writings, meditations. Choose not to be harmed, and you won't feel harmed. Don't feel harmed, and you haven't been. He teaches us to see negative comments or actions as merely opinions of others, which do not define our true self or our worth. Furthermore, cultivating gratitude and seeking understanding in negative situations can transform our perspective significantly. Every adverse event carries a hidden lesson. Instead of reacting with anger or sorrow, 
we can ask ourselves, what can this teach me? This mindset not only cultivates a more positive outlook on life, but also bolsters our resilience against future challenges. Now take a moment to reflect. Are you preserving your personal power? Or have you let it slip through your fingers by feeling victimized by others' actions? More importantly, are you ready to start the internal transformation that will make you invulnerable to life's ups and downs? Stoicism doesn't offer a quick fix for all of life's difficulties, but it arms us with the tools to confront and conquer them. By mastering the art of detaching our emotions from external pressures, we don't just gain tranquility. We unlock the potential for a fulfilling and meaningful life. I encourage you to share your experiences and thoughts in the comments section. How have you dealt with feelings of hurt in your own life? Your stories and reflections are crucial as we explore these Stoic principles together. Remember, adopting Stoic resilience is not merely about enduring life's challenges, but about transforming them into pillars of personal growth. Number 5. Maintain Firm Purposes In a world characterized by ceaseless change and uncertainty, the teachings of the ancient philosopher Epictetus shine as a guiding light, helping us navigate through life's unpredictable storms. Epictetus emphasized the importance of adhering to one's personal principles and goals, maintaining that such steadfastness is not only the key to achieving inner peace, but also the foundation of a fulfilling and happy life. He famously said, Demand not that things happen as you wish, but wish them to happen as they do, and you will go on well. This powerful quote embodies the essence of Stoic philosophy, highlighting the importance of embracing life's events as they come while maintaining a solid, unshakable resolve in the face of adversities. But the question arises, how can we apply such ancient wisdom to the complexities of modern life? The answer lies in continuous self-examination and adaptation. It is crucial for us to periodically reflect on our life's goals and principles, asking ourselves if they still align with our true values. This process of self-reflection is vital as it allows us to adjust our paths and ensures that we live authentically and purposefully. By reaffirming our goals and principles, we can steer our lives in a direction that is not only true to ourselves but also adaptive to the changing dynamics around us. The story of Malala Yousafzai, the young Pakistani advocate for girls' education, serves as a powerful illustration of the strength that lies in steadfastly adhering to one's principles. Despite facing life-threatening opposition for her stance on education rights in a context of extreme societal and political turmoil, Malala remained unyielding. Her resolve was put to the ultimate test when she survived an assassination attempt by a Taliban gunman while returning home from school. This brutal attack did not deter her. Instead, it strengthened her determination. Malala's recovery and continued advocacy have shown the world that unwavering commitment to one's principles can lead to significant positive changes not just in one's own life but globally. Malala's journey did not stop with her recovery. She became the youngest recipient of the Nobel Peace Prize, transforming her personal tragedy into a global call to action. Her story is not just one of personal triumph, but a beacon for all who strive to make a difference in the face of adversity. It underscores the profound impact of holding firm to one's beliefs and the transformative power of living by Stoic principles. Reflecting on Malala's story, ask yourself, do my goals still reflect my deepest values? Am I prepared to uphold my principles, even when faced with severe challenges? Stories like Malala's remind us of the strength that comes from steadfast dedication to our principles. As we navigate our daily lives, let us remember to embrace the teachings of Epictetus, to accept life's occurrences as they unfold, while firmly anchoring ourselves to enduring principles that guide our decisions and actions. By doing so, we not only overcome life's challenges, but also move closer to achieving a life of true significance and fulfillment. Let us hold firm to our goals, adapt with resilience, and witness how our steadfast resolve can bring our aspirations to fruition. Imagine you're navigating a challenging path strewn with obstacles of varying sizes, each testing your determination to press onward. As you face these hurdles, 
a reflective question emerges. Have I ever given up on goals or principles simply because they were demanding or unpopular? This inquiry is not merely about self-examination. It's about recognizing the essential virtues of perseverance and unwavering commitment needed to adhere to what you truly believe in, regardless of external approval or ease. The Stoic philosopher Epictetus once articulated a powerful maxim, It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This statement underscores the crucial idea that the authenticity of our goals and principles is tested, not during times of ease, but under pressure. When we encounter personal setbacks, societal criticism, or any other form of adversity, how we respond can deeply reflect our resilience and sincerity. These challenging moments are not just obstacles. They are pivotal opportunities that allow us to reinforce our dedication to our values and to demonstrate our steadfast nature. A upholding strong goals and principles is not akin to reaching a final destination. Rather, it's a continuous journey. This path requires constant self-awareness, patience, and the courage to venture into the unknown. Most importantly, it serves as a lifeline in the tumultuous sea of life, helping us not only to survive the storms but also to shape and manifest our true identities. This persistence in our principles is not just a defense against external challenges. It's a vital process of self-improvement and personal growth. Following the teachings of Stoic philosophers like Epictetus, we learn not merely to stay unaffected by external disturbances, but to evolve into the best versions of ourselves irrespective of the circumstances. Stoicism does not merely provide an escape from the chaos of the world. It offers a robust framework for flourishing within it. In our lives, we frequently face unexpected trials, particularly when confronted with unfair criticism. Epictetus pointed out that our true strength lies not in avoiding offense, but in how we manage our reactions to it. This management is not about mere restraint or suppression of feelings. It's about mastering our emotions so that our mental strength and freedom are preserved, enabling us to respond to life's challenges with wisdom rather than impulsivity. With this in mind, I am eager to learn from you. What goals or principles are your unshakable guides, steadfast even amid the most daunting challenges? I encourage you to share your experiences and thoughts in the comments. By sharing our stories, we can inspire each other and build a stronger community reinforcing our collective resilience to remain unwavering in the face of life's uncertainties. Number six, exercise high control over an insult. In today's fast-paced world where sharp words can cut as deeply as any blade, the ancient wisdom of Stoic philosophy provides a robust shield, not forged from metal, but from profound understanding. The teachings of Epictetus, an esteemed Stoic philosopher, deliver a timeless message. Men are disturbed not by things, but by the views which they take of them. This principle is essential as we explore the practice of exerting high control over an insult. How often do we find ourselves upset or shaken by harsh words or diminished by a negative comment? This is a universal challenge that spans from the energetic urban environments to the competitive silence of office spaces. Yet the Stoic solution to this dilemma lies inward, within our own perceptions and reactions rather than in the external environment that surrounds us. When we are insulted, it is crucial to understand that the actual words have no intrinsic power to harm. It is our reaction to these words that can cause pain. To manage our reactions effectively, we need to cultivate a deep sense of self-awareness and comprehend what truly merits our emotional energy. By engaging in mindfulness and continuous self-observation, we learn to identify which reactions are essential to express and which are more constructively controlled. One might question, does reacting with anger to an insult resolve the conflict or does it merely escalate my own distress? Stoicism encourages us to consider the future impact of our current frustrations. Will this matter in a year? This broader perspective reduces the intensity and immediacy of impulsive reactions empowering us to act in ways that prioritize our long-term happiness and peace. Marcus Aurelius, the storied Roman emperor who was also a practitioner of Stoicism, 
exemplified this approach in his life. In his reflective writings known as the Meditations, he often pondered the criticisms directed at him, reminding himself that these were simply opinions, not reflections of his true self. He asserted that maintaining calmness and refraining from negative reactions are vital for preserving one's dignity and self-respect. Adopting this stoic method doesn't mean suppressing our emotions or ignoring the impact of words. Rather, it involves recognizing our emotions, processing them thoughtfully and choosing consciously not to let these fleeting moments define or disturb our peace of mind. Each decision to remain resilient in the face of provocation strengthens our mental fortitude, protects our inner serenity, and enhances our ability to thrive amid adversity. As you encounter life's verbal skirmishes or outright confrontations, which direction will you choose? Will you opt for the path of mental liberation, where you transcend the chaos and remain unaffected by external disturbances, or will you succumb to the weight of negative emotions? I invite you to reflect on your approach and share your perspective in the comments below. Your personal stories and strategies could light the way for others, striving to master their responses and navigate their own challenges. Remember, in the practice of Stoicism, each challenge is an opportunity for advancement, not a setback, but a chance to enhance our emotional resilience and personal growth. Number 7. Don't worry if someone speaks ill of you. In our journey through life, we often encounter words that are designed to hurt us. And perhaps you found yourself lying awake at night, agonizing over a comment someone made about you behind your back. It's easy to get trapped in a whirlwind of doubt and self-questioning. Why would they say that? What did I do to deserve this? Such questions can leave you feeling drained, as they once did to me. I remember a time when I would go to great lengths trying to correct someone's negative opinion of me, explaining and justifying my actions to reclaim my tarnished image. But over time, my perspective shifted dramatically, crystallized by an experience during a job interview. When asked how I would respond if I learned that someone was speaking ill of me, I found myself smiling genuinely and answering with confidence, do nothing at all, because it's their issue, not mine. This change wasn't overnight. It was the result of embracing a profound stoic principle shared by the philosopher Epictetus. Epictetus taught that our true value is determined not by others' judgments, but by our own principles and actions. He urged us to spend time reflecting on our personal values rather than external opinions. This perspective shift is transformative. When criticism comes your way, instead of reacting with hurt or anger, view it as a chance to reflect. Ask yourself, is there truth here that I can learn from? If yes, use it as a stepping stone to improve. If no, then those words are simply not worth your energy. Imagine a scenario in modern life where rumors and misunderstandings spread through social media, affecting one's professional and personal life. The stoic approach would be not to panic or lash out, but to evaluate the situation calmly, discerning what, if anything, can be learned, thus maintaining peace of mind. So, what can you do next time you face criticism or gossip? Start by asking yourself, what does this situation teach me about my values and how I react to external pressures? Engaging with this question not only deepens your understanding, but also invites you to interact with the ideas presented here. True empowerment comes not from dodging criticism or gossip, but from choosing not to let it control your emotions or dictate your self-worth. By mastering this stoic discipline, you render such negatives powerless over you. Remember, no one can truly hurt you without your consent. Live a life where you alone determine your worth, and watch as the once daunting criticism turns into mere noise, harmless and irrelevant. As we close today's exploration of Epictetus's powerful Stoic principles, remember that these teachings are more than just philosophical musings. They are practical tools designed to fortify your spirit against life's upheavals. By integrating Stoicism into your daily routine, you can cultivate a mindset that not only withstands adversity, but thrives in the midst of it. How will you apply what you've learned today to transform challenges into opportunities for growth? Reflect on this question and take a moment to share your plans in the comments below. We highly value your engagement and perspective. Engage with us by leaving a comment 
and don't hesitate to like, share, and subscribe to Stoic in Your Life for more insightful content that aids in your personal and philosophical growth. Keep the lessons of Stoicism close as you navigate your journey, and let us know how these principles are making a positive impact in your life. Stay tuned for more videos, and let's together turn every obstacle into a stepping stone towards greater resilience and happiness.